Hey, String Slingers, it's Frank Spear, that guitar guy, back with you for another lesson. Today we're going to talk about ornamentation, decorating your notes as you're playing solos or in your rhythmic playing. We're going to talk about all kinds of things like bending, hammer-ons, trills, staccato playing, legato playing, open string licks, using the whammy bar here, uh, trem picking, fast picking, pedal steel licks, slides, and more. So I hope you get something out of this lesson. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start with some bending over an A major chord. Everything we do today is going to be over a simple A major chord. When I bend, I like to hold the vibrato until I get to the top of the note, it's like such. <laughs> slowly release is nice. Let's try that. Also, we had what we call raking in there, which is when we we muted the strings and we raked the pick down into the note. You hear David Gilmore from Floyd do this a lot. You're just muting with your palm, laying here. Raking down the strings and then landing on the note you want to grab. Now, there's another style of vibrato when you just go right for it. That's pretty heavy vibrato. I like to sometimes just go crazy with it. You get all kinds of cool effects. There's very subtle vibrato. Very slow. Kind of a crying, whiny thing there. Also, there's bending two notes. So I like to do this a lot in the minor pentatonic scale, which we're all using. So instead of, I'll grab. There's also bending in unison, where you take a note. Say, for example, you take this A note, and then you have a G note here that you're going to bend up to an A. So you're going to get this sound, essentially, two A notes, but you want to bend this G up to that A. So you're getting... We've heard that a million times. Very cool effect. And it's nice. It doesn't matter if it's... I mean, you want to get up to the note perfectly, but the beauty and the coolness and the blues of it all are when you're out of tune in between. When you're on your way into tune, right? Now let's talk about trills. Simply placing your finger on one particular note and anchoring it there, picking it once, and then hammering on and off. You're hammering on and then pulling, right? You're pulling off. We call that a trill. A nice way to bring some ornamentation, some razzle-dazzle to a tune. Let's check it out. You 
can also do these trills into open strings. Which is kind of cool, especially if you're in the key of E and you've got that open E and you play the notes of the E scale. E major, if you're in E major, E minor, if you're in E minor, so forth. Play the notes from that scale and then let that open E ring out. Now we've got an A chord going on in the background, but in the key of A, E is the fifth, so that'll sound fine. Playing the notes of the A major scale. A little Van halen -y there. Now a hammer-on is exactly that, hammering down on a note, right? We just did trills, which included hammering. You're not picking at all, right? You're just... And that can get you some really cool stuff, which is more in that legato vein. Hammering on. So we can use hammering in all kinds of ways. Here's a cool way to do it. Just hammer down. Do that around. That's all hammering. Hammering is used quite often. Now, if you wanted to get into the Eddie Van Halen technique of hammer-ons, you would pluck a note with your pick, hammer down with another finger onto another note, and then you would reach over and hammer on or tap another note, an additional note, a third note, with this finger. And then when you start the pattern over again, you slide this finger off to start. You can see why that's a lot of fun. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, tapping, whatever you want to call it, it's fun. You can do that with the open strings as well. you'll be on your way having a blast with that. Legato is an Italian word, I think, for smooth or something like that, where you're not... But rather... Right, this is staccato. Where it's got a... A choppiness to it. So staccato would be harsh, whereas legato would be smooth. Practice this can sound amazing, very Alan Holdsworthy. If you want to hear a master of legato, listen to Alan Holdsworth.
So you're barely picking there. You may pick a note. You may pick a note on each string, right? So that whatever lick you're playing off this string, you pick that note only. Then you'd pick the note on the next string. And you get licks like. Very smooth sounding. Staccato. Now staccato is happening where you're laying your palm over the strings here near the bridge and you're muting the strings. <laughs> laying it across here lightly and playing instead of also very fun to add into your solo playing let's give it a try Gato. Staccato. Now in there I pinched a harmonic at the end and that's a difficult technique to get down. Generally, the more distortion you have on your guitar, the more overdrive, the easier it is. I don't have much on this. You know, it's not a metal sound. And if you have that kind of sound, you can get them quite easily. But what you're doing here is very difficult to explain. You've just got to fool around with it until you get it. You're leaving very a very little bit of the pick visible. And then you are bending a note or just grabbing a note here. And then you're laying your thumb, the, the skin of your thumb and your finger on the string as well as the pick. And you're kind of pinching down. There are, I'm sure there are YouTube videos going into great detail as to how to get this. But it's a combination of the pick and the skin from your thumb. Excellent. Pinch harmonic. Also the open string harmonics. <laughs> Best at the 12th fret, 7th fret, somebody's here, 5th fret, Alex Lifeson of Rush used these in Red Barchetta. Let's talk about using open strings in our licks. We did this a little bit before when we talked about trills, but another cool thing to do on an open string is hammer on with one finger and pull off. Let's try that over the A chord. A 
Another really cool open string technique is to say, take it for an example, the A major scale, is to play the notes of the A major scale. Some of the notes, any of the notes you like, and then pull off to the open string. Some of those open string notes are not in the key. They still sound really cool creating that tension against the chord. Let's try it over the A major chord. one you're really gonna love. Go down the A minor pentatonic scale so you play the first note then jump down to the B string play this note then grab the open E. That's the pattern you just repeat that down the scale Next. Super cool lick. Let's hear it against the A chord. Slow. When I'm soloing in G, I love to use the I love that line, basically playing off the G major scale with all of these open strings added. Landing on that third. Cool for country licks. Now something I'm using there is hybrid picking, okay? And that means simply stroking with the pick and then pulling up with the middle finger. So you'd pick once down and then usually, it can be on the same string of course, but usually the next string up or on the same string. Here I'm playing on the high E string. Pick, finger. Pick, finger. A lot of country guys use this technique. So, let me back up a little bit here. Every other note is the finger. It's the down stroke with the pick, an up stroke with the finger. Practice that. Let's talk about slides, sliding into notes. Always nice rather than just to begin on a note to slide into it. You can slide in from a half step or a whole step below, half step or a whole step above into the note you're going to, depending on the kind of music you're playing and the sound you're going for. Very often, I mean, you're safest if you're sliding from a note in the key to another note in the key and doing those slides 
but also half step slides are very nice as well as half step bends if i want to get to this a note to take the a flat or the g sharp and bend it up to the a or slide into the a is very cool you don't want to overdo this i mean you can for effect i'll show you something in a second where you can get a really cool effect doing this but using it sparingly is very tasty let's give it a try <laughs> Let's talk about double stops. Double stops are playing two notes simultaneously. Can be very cool and all I'm doing is playing out of that minor pentatonic scale there. Instead of I double up on the notes. So here we're playing right out of the A major scale. I'm just selecting notes that work well together on, simul on strings that are right next to each other. In this case, singing harmony these notes together now there's a case you've heard that often there's a case of string skipping and playing notes that are harmonizing out of the a major scale so we've got <laughs> and then we're adding in from these notes lower down in the scale. So you've got... Let's try that over the A chord. Here's another cool spot where you can do that. Take this shape of the A chord, it's a D shape. Here's an A. You've got that movable D chord, a D shape. You've got it up to A here, and we can play. we did down here we're gonna do up here and you can play these in all kinds of ways and then slide into this one right let's try all of that let's mess around with that over the A chord
And you know, you can carry that all the way up. Double stops. Let me show you a few pedal steel licks. Guitar licks that are trying to mimic the licks of a pedal steel guitar with those special bends they get with the slide and the pedal on the bottom. So they're bending and sliding at the same time. Some easy ones. <laughs> This is very similar to what we're doing here is we're doing it on a D chord. We're playing these top two notes of the D chord right here, D, and we're playing this A, which is the fifth, right? So we've got this partial D chord. What we want to do is we want to get this F sharp in there, the third. So we've got this D shape, which is really this D chord, which is really this D chord. Partial, another partial, another partial, right? We're just subtracting notes. We want to get this note in, but what we want to do is grab these notes with this finger instead, grab this note a whole step down and bend it to the note we want. I'm sorry, a half step down. And we want to bend it. We're going to bend this to this. over this A chord. Let's see how it sounds. Here's another really cool one to do. Very country, very pedal steel sounding. We'll go back to this A chord is we're playing this little A major scale here. We're going to bend from the B note here up to the C sharp, which is the third of the A chord, which is a note that's found directly, yeah, it's in the chord, the third, so it's going to sound great. And then we're going to reach with our pinky and we're going to grab this E note, which is the fifth of the A chord. So we're playing the five and the third, the third and the five. And we let that back down to the B, which is the nine or the second of A. And then you're going to grab the A note, and then you're going to grab this E, which is part of this chord, the D shape. You're just going to grab those two, and you're going to push this E up to this F sharp, which is the sixth of A, and let it back down. So you're getting... Let's try it over the A chord. Here's a pedal steel lick I like to do over a D major chord. Letting those notes ring, right? It's a great ending lick over a D chord. Let's talk about picking a little bit here. Generally when I'm picking fast, I leave very little bit of the pick sticking out here. And what I do is I don't play completely perpendicular. I tilt the pick a little bit 
so that it's on an angle rather than this it's on an angle like this almost like you're slicing through this would be completely perpendicular this would be completely perpendicular I'm angling it not all the way so where it's slicing through not like this but on a slight angle not like this not like this but just turning it ever so slightly and facing it up the pick the point of the pick is facing up at my chin so that I can slice through like butter and angled away from the string a little bit so that I don't get caught up underneath the strings there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to pick but I want to just give you an idea of how I do it so I can slice through the strings really nice like that. Let's talk about trim picking, very fast picking, up and down picking, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up. And I'm holding the pick the same way as I just showed. Like all of these techniques, it's just a matter of practice. It's a matter of rote and routine. You know, you do anything long enough and you get better at it. If I had no fingers on this hand and I only had, well, if I only had one finger on this hand, I had this pinky, I could get that down with this pinky sooner or later. If I just sat down... months and months and years and years and I built up the strength in this pick, picky, this pinky, I'd be able to do it. You've seen people play guitar with their toes, strum chords with their feet. Unbelievable what human beings are capable of. So any of these techniques, all of these techniques are a matter of putting in the time, sitting down while you're watching TV or whatever you're doing and just... I have that delay on here, so... Speed it up. Right? It, when you start... Until it becomes second nature. Let's finish up today by talking about the wiggle stick. Now I'm playing a Gretsch here, which is really like a rockabilly guitar, uh, blues guitar, jump blues. That's what I use it for. You use it for anything really, but I mean, you're not going to use it for metal, right? So if I had a Van Halen style guitar here with the Floyd Rose, I'd be able to do more dive bombs and kind of crazy things. But this one I use subtly. <laughs> crazy with it and get some really cool effects now I've turned the bar around I've I've t twisted this up so that I mean it's got screws in here that'll let me move this bar around and I've got it where it's sitting the high as high as it can so you see how high that is I can get a lot of cool techniques it's right there in my grasp. <laughs> the flick of the stick. Let's play over that A chord and use the bar a little bit.
Well, there you have it. Ornamentation. All kinds of crazy things you guys can do with your notes. I hope you got something out of this today. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm Jersey Frank, that guitar guy. I'll see you in the next one.